So when that time comes, be part of the zombie crew. Period. All of us turning into we, zombies. Right. I, I, think I, I feel like if, if we are turning into zombies, I don't want to be the only person left. It's the memory. I want to see all my people win, and we know that. Oh, you then I got you to the end, and you snow that. Everybody used to show me love. Where it go at? I was born to shine. I speak my mind and get that glow back. Try to pay my. Good morning. I woke up here in Virginia. Look, I don't know what be happening, but I just be falling asleep and waking up in a different place. So right now I'm in Virginia, as today is Mother's Day. And I'm talking like this because I have a tripod, so you guys are propped up on the earwick that's plugged in in the wall. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is Mother's Day, and I'm about to run to Party City and pick up some things for my mom, come back and get myself together because my mom put together this beautiful brunch for um, the mothers in our family. So yeah, they're setting up downstairs right now. It's gonna be so cute. Oh, yeah. I see, I choose to be happy. You and I, you and I, because I didn't bring a lot of stuff with me. I actually need a, a wig brush, but yeah, today, no, go, oh, get out, 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 get out, get your butt out. All right, so I'm back, and now I'm about to start with doing my hair before I do my makeup. It is Mother's Day, guys. This is like the, one of the top four emotional days out of the year for me. The other ones is my mom's birthday, 
very emotional day for me because that just reminds me that every year she's getting older. Um, then there's my grandma's birthday, which is literally one day apart. Like my mom's born a day before my grandma's birthday. Very emotional day because it reminds me every year that my grandmother is getting older. And then it's my birthday. <laughs> it's a very emotional day for me because it's like, well, especially recently, because I'm like, like this year, in a couple of weeks, actually, I'll be turning 27. And it's like, I'm closer to 30 than I am 21. So it's just like a lot of pressure um, that I'm like putting on myself. Very emotional day for me. Um, ever since I turned 26, which was last year. <laughs> and then Mother's Day. Mother's Day is a very emotional day for me. Um, because... Lord knows what I would do Whew. but I not have the, my two favorite people in my life to celebrate Mother's Day. Little backstory. <laughs> Little backstory, I don't know if you guys know, but um, I was reared by my grandmother, right? So like, I lived with my grandma from like the ages of like, I'm gonna guesstimate because I can't necessarily remember. I'm gonna say from the ages of like four to um, how old was that? Like eleven, four to eleven. So technically, my grandmother reared me, right? Oh, I hope this looks right. I haven't used a wand in so long, but my mom doesn't have a curling iron here, surprisingly. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, I was raised in Richmond, Virginia. And then when I turned 11, yes, when I turned 11, a couple months after that, that's when I moved in with my parents in Virginia Beach. Not my phone. So uh, that's why me and my grandmother are so close, because she's like my mom too, you know? Um, so I was downstairs with them just now, trying to help set up and also trying to hold back tears. I'm so emotional, y'all. Cause, I'm so emotional. I'm trying to be loud cause I feel like there's an echo in the bathroom. But, I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful for my family, especially my mom and my grandma. The reason why it's coming out so hard right now is because I was holding it back all morning. <laughs> And I think it's like a combination of, my tears are a combination of me being happy and me being sad because we're getting older. <laughs> I'm getting older. And I just couldn't imagine, you know? You know, I saw on um, Instagram a couple of days ago, uh, a YouTuber, her name is Simone Kennedy lost her mom and I remember I remember the first time I've ever seen um, Simone Kennedy was on a video and it was her mom in the video and I was like oh her mom is so pretty like oh they're so cute like that was the first time I've ever seen or heard of Simone Kennedy so when I saw that on Instagram and I was like Mother's Day is coming up like it broke my heart Mind you, I don't know her, but it broke my heart because I just could not imagine. So I'm just like very grateful <laughs> to um, <sighs> be able to celebrate <laughs> another Mother's Day um, with them. And my mom, she's so special. <laughs> she be getting on my nerves sometimes. <laughs> But she's so special because 
she's um, hosting this beautiful Mother's Day dinner. And she did a very, 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 very darn good job setting up downstairs um, her eye for for home decor and um, um, what do you call it? Um, party planning is A1. It's a perk, okay? <laughs> So dramatic. <laughs> so dramatic. I hope this isn't too like, I hope this don't turn out too girly or like too childish. <laughs> Cause I have not used a wand in so long, even as a hairstylist, like no one asks me for like one girls. Um, it's either straight, cramped, or curling eye. So I need to, um, Start practicing with these long girls because I don't know if this is gonna hit. I feel like this is gonna be childish, but it's be nice to see. I'm about to do a quick transformation and I'm gonna see y'all in a little bit. <laughs> Wait, come up outside to go get some lash glue from my mom. And my dad was like, why you don't have this? I said, because I'm not done yet. I walked to go with my mom to get the glue. And I was like, you know what he just said? He asked me why I like those. She said, because you do. And I was like, because I'm not done yet. No, I'm damn well done. I just had this spray some the setting spray on my face. Hopefully the setting spray took away that ashy, ghostly effect. Now I'm over here like, dang, do I want to Do I need to change my foundation and go a little darker? <laughs> I ain't trying to look like those um, African transformation videos <laughs> where they be, or the Asian transformation videos where they be like doing the makeup transformation and they be looking like five shades lighter than what they really are. I ain't trying to do that. Shoot, if, if anything, I'm trying to look a shade darker or a half a shade. But yeah, my camera's just that, so I don't even know what I'm talking about. But I'm about to actually go iron my dress or spoon my dress, get dressed, and while I'm doing that, I'm gonna charge my camera. Hi, y'all. I'm at, okay. So my parents got a, a new door on their laundry room. It's super cute. So I'm about to show y'all actually what their laundry room looks like. So cute. Look at this barn door. Isn't it the cutest thing? Absolutely love it. So this is the laundry room. My mom, I think she get these tissues from Amazon, I think. I'm not sure. But this is so cute. There you go. See? So cute. I absolutely love it. Backsplash is really cute. Bleach and softener and stuff. Super cute. I'm about to go ahead and iron my dress, charge my camera, and get cute. This is the outfit of the day. Um, I'm just wearing this really pretty mauve color dress and accessories. Lord knows, I don't know where I got it from. And uh, yeah. Okay, because it's so noisy in the background right now, and I don't want to like be rude and turn the music down. I'm just gonna give you guys like a quick preview of the decor that my mom set up for this Mother's Day Sunday brunch. It's so pretty in there and I can tell that every single little detail was like carefully thought out. It's so pretty. And you guys are gonna be like, ooh, ah, cause I'm over here like, ooh, ah, it's so cute. Uh, and I'm so excited for all of my family to get here so we can celebrate one of the most important days of the year. If not the most important day of the year because without about all of our mothers, none of us are here.
and oh, I had a long good morning slash afternoon. I was like just cleaning all day. Look, don't mind this over here. But I was cleaning all day and I just went to the post office, went to CVS, which I shouldn't have did that because they be texting, they be over texting. And I had to re up on like paper towels, tissue, makeup wipes, and um, toothpaste. That shit came to like $45. I should've took my ass to Publix. Should've took my ass to Publix. But, now I'm back home and about to make me some food. Cause I haven't eaten since Sunday. After it. That's Tuesday. I was in school all morning afternoon yesterday. Came home, took a long ass nap cause your girl was tired from the weekend. And then woke up, helped my neighbor with like editing, showing her how to like edit videos and stuff. And she wants to start vlogging, but she wants to do like travel vlogs because she travels a lot. So that's super exciting. And um, then when I came back home, I just went to sleep. So I was so tired. This morning, I woke up. I was like, how woke up late. I woke up, she started cleaning. Ran my errands, now I'm back home. And now I'm about to eat. I'm making some steak, some snow peas, potatoes, and rice. The potatoes are boiling right now. The steak is steaking right now. The snow peas, the snow peas in right now. And I got, I'm taking the easy route with the rice. I got um this uh jasmine white rice on Trader Joe's. You literally just put it in the microwave for like a minute. And it's done. Benito. I'm gonna do that. And yeah. Then I'm about to be served. Early dinner. Well, it's actually not an early dinner. It just looks like it's an early dinner because it's still so bright outside. And it's a 7.30. It's 7.30 at night. And it don't look like it. It looks like it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon. <clears throat> See, that didn't take no time. For me to cook either. No time. just got out of class and hopped in the shower washed my hair because I got a lot going on today <laughs> I am waiting for a maintenance man to come up here and patch these holes up that's in my wall and then two I have a client who the time is, PM. is scheduled for 3 30 and she literally just texted me and told me she was downstairs parking so I have uh, to do hair. And then my girl Angui's birthday is today. Her dinner starts at 8 p.m. tonight. So it's 3.30 right now. Just washed my hair, I'm flat ironing it. I'm not gonna have time to braid it. I'm just gonna put it in a low, a low bun and throw a wig on top of it. Um, I think this is just a reinstall of a closure wig. I'm not sure all that I have to do to her head because she didn't really specify. But um, she just came back for basically a reinstall, I'm assuming. Hopefully I don't have to rebraid her hair or anything like that because I just braided her hair like two weeks ago. Um, so hopefully this doesn't take me too long. And that way I have enough time to do my hair, my makeup, and get dressed. Um, I didn't purchase anything, <laughs> again, I didn't purchase anything to wear for um, her birthday dinner because I have stuff in my closet that I haven't worn yet. So... These are, she has like a theme, not necessarily a theme, but she has like a vision board of how she wants people to dress for a party. So I have, oops, I have all these dresses right here that um, coincide or align with that theme. So one of them dresses is gonna work for tonight. Um, my only concern is my hair, cause I don't really got no wigs on standby. Only got one, two wigs. I got a curly wig and I got a, short straight slash body wig wig i don't know exactly where i left off because by the time i turned to the camera <laughs> the damn camera stopped recording because i ain't had no more space on my sim card but basically i was just saying that this house is about to be packed for the next couple hours because he about to be 
behind me at my workspace working patching up them damn hoes that he created <laughs> and then i'll be doing hair so we shall see i was saying i don't know if y'all heard me that hopefully i can finish straightening my hair before she comes up here so that's like literally one less thing i have to do once i'm done Hey Google, play. Brandy's leaving us today. Or tomorrow. <laughs> She's leaving us tomorrow. She's going all the way to Columbia for a whole month. Living her best life. And then she gonna be gone all month. Living her best life. And then I gotta go get y'all. Why I gotta go get vaccinated? <laughs> you, you probably the only person that's been in the country besides me. I don't want to go get vaccinated. I feel like I'm a croak over. But if everybody else still alive, look. If everybody else still alive, I don't know. But I ain't trying to sit in the house this summer. I'm trying to go to Africa. <laughs> Damn. So when that time comes, be part of the zombie crew. Period. All of us turning into we, zombies. Right. I, I, think I, I feel like if, if we are turning into zombies, I don't want to be the only person left. <laughs> I, if everybody else don't die, we might as well go build. Okay, so yeah. I don't want to be part of zombie crew. I want to have a little clan where all the non-zombie people just fight for the rest of our lives. <laughs> That's exciting. <laughs> and then we either get eat or we don't. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want. Okay, now I'm about to get myself together because um, uh, August birthday started at 8. And she gonna be walking in at 8.15, meaning I need to be there by 7.50, the latest. So Mary's gonna be holding me accountable because she's gonna meet me here and then we're gonna Uber together because... I'm setting the timer. You setting the timer? I'm, I gotta be ready by 7. I gotta be putting on my clothes by 7.50. Okay. I'm gonna have faith in you today. I got six different options. That was in my closet. And that was another thing that I'm so proud of. I didn't go buy nothing. Everything was in my closet. See you soon. Yeah, love you. I'll email, I'll text you and email you. Okay. Wait, do I have the right number? You be getting my text messages. Yeah. So, yeah, but you have my work number, so I think you can get it. I need to speak about it. Okay. I don't have that phone. I was like, why don't you change it? Don't play with a don't be the signs. Still not understanding this logic. Okay, so the makeup is done. And the stomach is on flat flat. I just took the waist trainer off. I used to think that waist trainers don't do nothing. But waist trainers actually for me, because I ain't even wearing my car. Because the thing left a um, dark mark on my stomach. I guess I was wearing it for too long. So I ain't been wearing nothing lately. But this week, I've been wearing this waist trainer whenever I'm in the house. And I noticed that it keeps my stomach literally on flat flat. Like, while, like no matter what I eat, no matter what I drink, no matter what, after, normally, after, okay, long story short, normally after I finish eating stuff, my stomach get a little poofy down here. Um, and I noticed that when I wear my waist trainer, like it still just like literally keeps my stomach on flat flat and it keeps the body just looking, the waist like area looking nice and kind of like snatched and natural. So, um, yeah, so stomach on flat flat, makeup done. I'm about to um, take my boots up and like oil my body. I gotta take my boobs up first, cause if you oil your body, then take your boobs, then it ain't gonna stick, and then you just gonna be inside of luck. Do I have to take? I don't know how you do it. Did you think I'm gonna take this? Yes, okay, so I used all of my new tape. I got my new tape. I got black tape. Hopefully you ain't gonna see that black tape. Hopefully you're gonna see that black tape through that dress. Cause I think I'm I think I'm gonna end up wearing this dress. I had this dress for a couple years actually now. 
maybe for like three years now and I've never worn it, so I'm gonna wear it today. So I'm about to go ahead and take my boobs up and then put the dress on. Make sure I'm wearing a dress and then do my hair. I got 15 minutes, cause seven o'clock on the dot. And I wanna be out of here by 7.30 so we can be here by eight. Period, so I'm good. So your girl is dressed in all time. It's 7.17. Unfortunately, Mary's not going to make it here on time. So, now I don't want to be late. So, well, we don't want to be late. So, we're just going to meet each other there. Um, I'm going to finish putting my coconut oil on my legs and stuff. And then I'm going to call my Uber, put my shoes, and call my Uber and go downstairs. And wait for my Uber. Um, Because... It's my girl's birthday and I ain't trying to be late, you know what I'm saying? I'm already walking in with no damn gift. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I thought I was going to have some time to run out and get her something, but um, that's okay because she's um leaving to go on the trip tomorrow. So when I see her tonight, I'm going to ask her when she's back. And then I'll just like take her to dinner and give her her gift then. Super excited. The girl is 25 now. Now I don't feel like the old head because now she's 25. <laughs> you're 25, baby. You right in the middle. You close to 30 and you close to 20. You can go either way. So now I don't feel old. Now we, we're a year apart right now, until about two weeks from now. 25, 26, 27, we're only two years apart. No, we're only two years apart. I ain't going ahead. It's just the idea of like being 27, I'm about to turn 27. It's just the idea of like literally, literally being closer to 30 than I am 21. <laughs> it's like, damn. I mean, but who wants to be 21? I don't want to be 21. I wish I could stay 25 forever. <laughs> 25 was, uh, I feel like it's an age that I feel like, it's like I'm young, but I'm grown. I'm young, but I'm grown. That's what 25 gives me. 27 gives me, 27 still gives me young and grown. Give me more grown than young, but 27 gives me young and grown still. Look, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just rambling right now. I'm just excited. I love birthdays, y'all. I love when people celebrate their birthdays. I just love, I love a fucking birthday. I do want some shit on my chest. Matter of fact, this one. I'm just gonna put, since I put a little bit of coconut oil on, the oil, I mean, the, the glitter is gonna stick on the chest. I think. Because I have, yup, it's gonna stick right on the chest. I have oil. Just a little shimmer. Just a little shimmer. You know what I'm saying? Just a, just a little shimmer. Just like that. Bam. Shit, I should have put some light on contour right here to give it a little bit more top beat. That's what I should do. That's what I'm about to do. And shit, I might as well put a little something on my cheeks. Damn, my shoulder ain't right now. Well, I think that's enough. Let me stop before I fuck it up. Alright, jewelry now. Oh, I earrings in. Oh, what did it hurt? Excuse me, y'all. Move, move, move. Oh, I need to get my shoes. I'm just gonna wear these clear shoes. Because they're not the best shoes. They're not the best shoes. Oh, I'm just not that girl where I got like all the bags and all the shoes. Um, here I am. Oh, wait. 
shit. This gonna have to work, cause this is all I got. Damn, if I had a gold shirt, I'm perfect. I'm gonna be back, y'all. Let me see if this is a vibe. Rose gold? Do I have a rose gold bag? Rose gold is that to me. Rose gold was gold. Can you wear rose gold with gold? But then it's like, what would you put in the bag that's see through? I hate see through bags. This is gonna have to get. Like, like and then we just have to put on some big ass gold in it. I got gold on my eyes and stuff. You can't even see me. I'm just rambling, y'all. I'm gonna just do that. Lip gloss. Lip line? That ain't gonna fit, so I'm not even gonna force it. Alright, I need to call it Spray my stuff. Earrings. That's what I need. Earrings. Oh, let me spray my stuff first. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm wearing Dolce and Gabbana. What's this one? The only one? Oops. It's blurry. I'm wearing Dolce and Gabbana, the only one. And I'm wearing my Black Opium by St. Laurent. I like to just put that right here. And then I'm wearing Dolce & Gabbana, this one. I don't know, I can't pronounce it, but I'm wearing that one. And that's what I be mixing. People be like, oh my God, she's so good. I can't thank her, thank her. <laughs> and I literally overspray. I don't even care. Now, is it given, what type of accessories? Oh, earrings, right? Is it given just hoops? Because anything else is going to be Actually, because my hair is big, I'm going to go and wear the big ass Yep, I'm going to wear the big hoops. I'm mad Antonio didn't call me back yet from the gym. He's supposed to call me back and help me get dressed. But... Yeah. Yeah. I think it's good. I don't have a necklace on, but I don't have a necklace on. Oh, we should have more bracelets. I mean, I do have more bracelets. Oh, I have a bracelet. I can do the anchor. I should call it for now because it's 726. And Lord knows the traffic is giving right now. So I got my anklet on. And I wish I had like a diamond pink. Let's call it Uber. Where's my other song? Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. Actually, I'm trying to make something about Bitch, you late. You, you gone? No, I'm about to leave. I'm about to call an Uber. Oh, damn. What the fuck is that, buddy? Huh? Huh? <laughs> you play too much. You think me? Oh. Oh, you cute. Oh, you cute, bitch. You cute. I'm cute. You're cute. I like it. <laughs> yeah, me too. Where did you get that from? I've been had it. Oh, I got to take the tag off. I'm not going to talk about it. I've been had it when we was in New York. I just never wore it because, I don't know, titties, body, you just won't get it. Oh, no, bitch, you did one. I like it. You take the titties too long. I did, but I can't push them together like you keep saying. <laughs> I tried, but I was like, I can't. I can't, I can't wait to come so I can goddamn. Show me how to take my titties up. Literally. Because them bitches is like going, they going the opposite way. Why is it doing this? I'm trying to call Uber, but they keep asking me to put in my damn. My phone keeps asking me to. Oh, there it go. It wants me to log into my email for some reason, but. Never mind. I'm excited.
that I like to do stuff for other people is um, that's just what I'm comfortable with. And I like doing stuff with my friends, but when it comes to me, it's kind of hard. And I just want to say thank you to everybody in this room because you've all helped me in some special kind of way. Even if you've only met one time, I saw something in you. And you guys have just been so nice to me. And I just want to thank every single person for being here, the DJ, photographer, bartender, Thank you.